What happens if you make a Swift UI image view that stretches content be larger than its original size? Now, by default, we get image interpolation, which is where iOS blends a pixel so smoothly, you might not even realize they've been stretched at all. There is a small performance cost to this, of course, but most of the time it's not worth worrying about. However, there is one place where image interpolation causes a problem, and that's where you're dealing with precise pixels. As an example, the file says project contain a little cartoon alien image, this one here, called example at 3x.ping. It's taken from the Kenny Platform Art Deluxe Bundle at kenny.nl and it's available under the public domain. Go ahead and add that from GitHub in my repository to your asset catalog now and go ahead and change that in your content view to draw the picture nicely. So we'll say in our content view, we have uh, the image of dot example, our example picture. We'll make it resizable so it scales upwards. We'll make it scale to fit to keep aspect ratio. And then we'll add a background of black so we can see it clearly against the background. As we're rendering our alien character against this black background, it's nice and clear. And you can see it's being stretched by Swift UI. Take a close look at the edge of this view. You can kind of see they're jagged but they're also blurry at the same time. And the jagged part becomes uh, the original image is stretched, right? So it's only, I think, 66 by 92 by default in size, but being stretched a great deal to fit the available space. But the blurry part is there because SwiftUI is trying to blend our pixels nicely as they're being stretched, to make the stretching look less obvious. Now, often this blending works really well, but it struggles here because this source picture needs a lot of blending to work. It's small, but also the image has lots of solid colors. So the blended pixels stand out more obviously on the screen. Now for situations like this one here, SwiftUI gives us an interpolation modifier that lets us control how the pixel blending is applied. There are multiple levels to this, but realistically we only really care about one, which is none, which turns off image interpolation entirely. So rather than just blending pixels, they just get scaled up with sharp edges. So in our case, we'll leave this code the same, but an add before resizable is an interpolation mode of dot none. Do not blend these pixels. And now if we run the code again, boom, you're gonna see the character retains its natural pixelated look. That's not only particularly uh, popular with retro games, but it's also important for line art that would look wrong when blurred.